if you haven't watched it yet, this introductory video is a great place to start. Otherwise, we are ready to proceed. Let's go. Now, we'll go into the basics of how to install and configure Column Manager for HBase. Here is your basic checklist. This is it, the long and the short of it. But you likely want a little more detail. So let's go into each item a bit. Your first step is to go into the Maven POEM file of your application and replace the HBase client dependency with a dependency upon HBase column manager. This example assumes you're running HBase 121, but rest assured that each of the 1.x releases of HBase is supported. And don't worry, you're not losing your HBase client dependency, because HBase column manager includes that dependency. The next step is to add the column manager activated property to your HBase site XML configuration file. Alternatively, you can put this property into a new configuration file called HBase Column Manager XML and place it in the same directory as your HBase site XML file. And hey, you just installed Column Manager. Let's follow through with a bit of configuration, shall we? The chief optional configuration task is to tell Column Manager which tables to include in Column Manager processing. Or you can take it from the opposite approach and tell Column Manager which tables to exclude. Oh, did I mention? This step is completely optional. If you don't specify which tables to include or exclude, all user namespaces and tables are automatically included in Column Manager processing. The final essential step of configuration is all up to the application developer. In your code, simply use Column Manager's M Connection Factory instead of the standard HBase Connection Factory anywhere in your code where you create a connection. Other than that, code your application as normal, and Column Manager will work behind the scenes as a very thin and invisible wrapper around the standard HBase client interfaces. Those are the basics of configuration, but additional configuration options are available via some of the methods of Column Manager's repository admin class. That's where you can optionally turn on Column Definition Enforcement and Column Aliasing for an individual column family. And that's our quick overview of installation and configuration of Column Manager for HBase. Thanks for watching.